Chapter 11 As a guest you are listening at NovelFull.audio Since he had already agreed to be a guest at Old Lee's house, Yang Chen naturally wouldn't forget that, as to keep his promise is what men need in their character to be great. Yang Chen once again exaggerated a small thing to the extent of being the ultimate glory of the human civilization. Due to being broke, and being unwilling to stay any longer with that frosty yet crazy and beautiful girl named Lin Ruashi, Yang Chen chose to return home on foot. Since the journey wasn't long, and with Yang Chen's physical abilities being way beyond ordinary people's imaginations, this journey home didn't require much effort. It was already evening, thus after taking a shower at home, Yang Chen once again opened his wooden chest, swept his gaze across it, then extracted a pale blue white dot striped shirt and a pair of classic pure white shorts for his lower half. After buttoning some of his buttons at the wrong places, Yang Chen took a look at his reflection on the cracked mirror on the wall, at long last. He looked a little handsome. The room still permeated a faint smell of fragrant jasmine left by Lin Ruashi, Yang Chen deeply inhaled, thinking of how tomorrow he has to marry a woman he hasn't even known for more than a day, finding it funny. However, once he thought of how Lin Ruashi's resolute eyes that made his frozen heart turn scorching hot, Yang Chen then felt strange feeling of intimacy birth within him towards that outrageously beautiful woman. Was he trying to compensate? Or was she truly that much different from others? Yang Chen did not know, which was why he decided to marry her, and let time give him the answer as to what kind of feelings he had for her. Old Li's house wasn't far, but without a any form of transport, Yang Chen could only use his two legs to make his way there. In the end he walked for half an hour before arriving. That was an old residential area in the west region, surrounded by civilians that lacked the money to move into a new home, generations live in this archaic Jiangnan.esque area. After passing by several small houses with smokes coming out of their chimneys, Yang Chen knocked on a very dated red wooden door. Soon after knocking, the wooden door was opened, beyond the door appeared a youthful and refreshing face, Big Brother Yang. You're here. Jingjing, long time no see. Yang Chen smiled from his heart, the girl in front had changed a lot in half a year, which made him surprised. Li Jingjing's face was elegant and refined as usual, with curly eyelashes, a delicate little nose and pleasant little mouth, a typical southern type of girl. Wearing a white short dot sleeve t dot shirt, and a tight-fitting blue jean shorts on her bottom, a pair of beautiful white legs was revealed. Seeing Yang Chen's eyes sweep up and down with a naughty smile, Li Jingjing felt shy yet at the same time secretly delighted in her heart, she coquettishly said. Big Brother Yang, stop staring and come in. Yang Chen laughed and said. Jingjing knows how to feel shy huh, you wouldn't lose a piece of flesh even if Big Brother looked. Are you afraid your boyfriend gets jealous? What do you mean? I don't have a boyfriend. Li Jingjing immediately denied, eyebrows joining looking a little angry. Okay okay okay. I'm just joking with you. Yang Chen was a little helpless, he obviously could tell what this girl was thinking of, but his was a body filled with dark blood, how could he tarnish such a pure soul? Thus, he always kept his distance and reminded her he was her big brother and will not be the man she was thinking of. Inside Old Li's living room, Old Li happily welcomed him, little Yang, my child Jingjing was helping her mother cook earlier, but the moment she heard you knock on the door she rushed out like a rabbit. Dad don't speak nonsense. Li Jingjing again looked bashful, clinging onto Old Li and not letting him say more. Yang Chen laughed and sat with Old Li. The furniture in the house were all decades old, with red paint that somewhat withered, yet expressed some archaic tastes. Under the dim light, summer flies flew about in the house, the corridor had breeze blowing in, bringing about a peaceful atmosphere. Drinking the tea Li Jingjing brought out, Yang Chen suddenly felt a never-before sense of fulfillment. He looked out into the night sky, a little dazed. Young man, don't show such a disillusioned look, a great future awaits you. Old Li gently said, drinking his green tea. Yang Chen returned to his senses, smiled and said, These days, ladies all like men who seem sophisticated, 
aren't I just practicing to seem sophisticated? He he, Old Lee laughed. Little Yang, others might not notice, but I, Old Lee has spent much of this half a year interacting with you, and am very clear of your character. You are not pretending, you little brat, if it wasn't because of experiencing some things, why would you choose to go selling mutton skewers for no reason? Yang Chen was unwilling to say more, a man like Old Lee who had experienced hardships naturally could tell that there were some things he hid deep in his heart. Even so, what Old Lee was thinking happened was very far from the truth. Some people are destined to be lonely, because nobody can associate with them. Dinner was very luxurious, Old Lee's family specially butchered one of their old hens, and boiled an exquisite chicken soup. Fish meat and crab was all brought out. Considering Old Lee's financial conditions, this meal was even more luxurious than New Year's. Oh little young, eat more, although it is a little simple, it is still our family's token of gratitude. Aunt Lee with a face full of wrinkles, yet happy, affectionately looked at Yang Chen as if she was looking at her own son. Yang Chen did not say much, and did not do anything differently, he continuously ate big mouthfuls of meat, because he was very clear that only in this way would this couple truly be happy. Li Jingjing from time to time also gave more food to Yang Chen, and would even secretly peek at Yang Chen eating when her parents weren't paying attention. When she heard Yang Chen say the dishes taste good, it was like she tasted honey in her heart, because most of the dishes were made by her. In the beginning Yang Chen did not plan to drink alcohol, but did not hold back because he didn't even succeed in quitting smoking, and also because of the matter regarding the marriage. Yang Chen was also lazy to reason with himself more and drank with Old Li a few cups of soju, the burning feeling in the stomach was very comfortable. Little Yang, if it wasn't for the money you lent us in this half a year, our family would be in dire straits. Now that our Jingjing has found a job, in the future you can come be our guest more often, I would also cook some good food for you. Aunt Li happily said. Yang Chen's face was already red, yet he was still sober, and happily asked. Oh, Jingjing has found a job. What job, B no L that M, I've been accepted by Zhong Hai Zijong, to be an English teacher. Due to a form teacher being pregnant, I'm now a temporary form teacher. Li Jingjing quietly smiled. A teacher. And even both an English teacher and form teacher, Jingjing really isn't simple huh? Yang Chen nodded satisfyingly, the wages are also not low, when the time comes don't forget me, your big brother Yang. The old Li couple also proudly laughed, their late-born daughter, finally had a great future now. This naturally made them extremely happy. Li Jingjing bashfully pouted and said, then big brother Yang must come to the school and find me when you're free, otherwise, how can I remember big brother Yang? All right, I'll definitely go, Yijong is a well-known high school, I've never been there before. Yang Chen happily replied. After the meal, Yang Chen was affectionately pulled by Old Li to drink tea and play Chinese chess. To speak the truth, Old Li was a smelly chess player who plays with Yang Chen who had absolutely no idea how to play. While Li Jingjing filially accompanied her mother in cleaning up the table. After losing the game of chess, Yang Chen felt that the soup, alcohol and tea didn't mix well in his stomach and told Old Li to wait, he ran towards the toilet, intending to release his floodgates first. The toilet in Old Li's house was at the back of the house, a separate shack. After walking through the small alleyway, the muddled dot headed Yang Chen unsteadily pushed open the wooden door of the toilet. Wei. A sharp and panicked sound entered Yang Chen's ears, immediately raising his head, Yang Chen was dumbfounded. In front of his eyes was Li Jingjing who seemed to have just showered, at this moment this little beauty had nothing on her body. Although the 40 dot what light bulb was not very bright, but it was enough to let Yang Chen clearly see that waistline full of youth and vitality. A little patch of black was hanging on the waist, the pepper dot like hot breasts of Li Jingjing was hurriedly covered with her hand, yet was difficult to cover it due to its plumpness, becoming round cakes. Slightly below the breasts, was a smooth waistline without excess flesh, Li Jingjing's other hand covered that thick rainforest, with her round thighs tightly clamped on that erogenous zone. 
Li Jingjing did not know that this action of hers discernibly increased her allure. Yang Chen was original dizzy from the alcohol and boosted by the hormones, right now seeing Li Jingjing's underripe yet enticing body, he could not help but swallow his saliva, a part which held violent desires rose. Chapter 12 I'm really a mutton skewer's seller. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Yang Big Brother Yang, quickly get out. Li Jingjing turned away, but was afraid of having her round bottom seen, she panicked to the point that she was about to cry. Listening to the pleas of the young lady which had not the slightest impurity, Ong Chen finally calmed his bloodshot eyes, sucked in a deep breath, suppressed his rash desires, then immediately closed the doors and backed off. Dil V Ko, after quietly waiting outside for a while, properly clothed Li Jingjing walked out with her head lowered, with blushing that spread till the young lady's ears. Yang Chen apologetically said. I'm sorry Jingjing, I didn't do it on purpose. Li Jingjing replied with a mosquito dot thin, yep, and said, I, I know, big brother Yang is a good person, a good person huh? Yang Chen muttered softly with a sour smile, then said, Jingjing, in the future when you earn some money you should buy yourself a good apartment, even alone is fine, it is inconvenient for a young lady like you to always be living with your parents. Yep. It is hard to tell whether the girl actually heard what was said as she possessed an appearance of a wounded little sheep that can arouse pity. Yang Chen sighed, it is late, you should go get some rest, tomorrow you have to go to work. As a new teacher you need to produce a good track record. I'll return home after using the toilet. Yep, big brother Yang take care. The girl's voice was still dowy, yet could really cause a man's bones to numbly melt. Accidentally seeing Li Jingjing shower made Yang Chen completely sober, heart filled with guilt towards the innocent girl, Yang Chen returned home with farewells from the oldly couple. After closing the door, the oldly couple began to discuss about Yang Chen. Aunt Li, with some concern said. Old man, do you think our Jingjing has fallen for little Yang? Why do her eyes seem so cheerful when looking at little Yang? To fancy is good, little Yang and our Jingjing are pretty compatible don't you think? Old Li happily said. What are you saying, little Yang has a great personality which is a good thing, but isn't he still a mutton skewer seller? Our Jingjing has become a high school teacher, are you going to let Jingjing marry someone who sells mutton skewers in the future? Aunt Li angrily said. Old Li took one drag from his cigarette then unhappily said, what's the matter? You look down on us little peddlers. Little Yang helped us so much, if it wasn't for our family, would he only be selling mutton skewers? Upon seeing her spouse get angry, Aunt Li stopped speaking, yet in her heart she had made her decision, she was determined to never allow her daughter be together with Yang Chen, at the most, she would treat Yang Chen to a few more meals, as compensation to Yang Chen. The old couple yet didn't know, their treasured daughter Li Jingjing, was currently upstairs by the window stealthily standing, with a blushing face and thumping heart watching Yang Chen leave. Along the river, Yang Chen purchased a $2 pack of West River cigarettes from a convenience store, and smoked while walking towards his residence. In his heart, he thought of the time he first returned to the country, the bits and pieces of meeting Li Jingjing and her family, and what started as a silly little brat suddenly became a youthful pretty lady. Unable to help feeling the 18 changes of a growing woman asterisk and the unpredictableness of the world. TL. Meaning the 18 of the changes that a girl makes when turning into a woman, blossom into womanhood, remembering how at that time it was himself on this riverside that rescued Li Jingjing who nearly got raped by scoundrels, then getting acquainted with old Li's family. Perhaps every girl has a hero in their hearts, despite him being a mutton skewer seller, in that girl Li Jingjing's heart, he was special. Constantly filled with such thoughts, Yang Chen unknowingly walked to the river's dock, which under the thinly spread street lights illumination exposed a hazy sense of beauty. The summer breeze blew past, bringing with it a whizzing coolness. At this time, a big and tall SUV appeared on the road ahead. Yang Chen's eyes shined, then looked at the riverside fence, unexpectedly there stood a tall woman in a black dress. The drifting waves rolled, the street lamps light dispersed streaks of rosy red, 
set off a charming white face. A watery pair of eyes stared at the faraway indistinct yacht, expressing bits of sorrow. This well-dot-developed figure demonstrated a mature type of charm, ample breasts, round plump butt, packed in a black cotton dress yet still draws people's eyes. Under the slender thighs wrapped with a pair of beige-colored stockings, was a pair of crystal-colored high-dot-heel shoes, a noble and elegant smell diffused from her body. This was absolutely the best kind of prey for the night. Yang Chen only needed one look. Earlier due to seeing Li Jingjing's naked body which boiled his blood, once again had indications of combusting. Nice car, never thought that in this place I could see this model of Land Rover which is limited to only 40 in the whole country, Yang Chen Riley complimented, slowly leaning on the railings. The beautiful married lady recovered her distant looking eyes, gently turned her head, with eyes that had a few instances of confusion and surprise, but what followed was a graceful and nice smile, you recognize this car. Way more than just recognize, this type of British handmade Land Rovers, I in those years blew up not less than several hundreds. Yang Chen sourly laughed silently in his heart and at the same time, his face showed content and leisurely said. Anniversary, Land Rovers 40 Year Remembrance Edition, Maximum Power of 375 kilowatts, Peak Torque of 625, 5. 0 liter supercharged. I made no mistake. I don't understand a thing you said, I just like this car, so I bought it. The lady stroked down the rising hair, this was a simple movement yet was alluring and enchanting. Don't all ladies like small and elegant sports cars? Porsche 911, Mercedes, Benz SLR, BMW Z4, even the appearance of Audi TT is more well liked compared to Land Rovers. I don't believe someone who can afford to buy this car can't afford to buy those cars. Yang Chen took out a cigarette, since the mature lady in front of him did not reject him, he wouldn't mind chatting more. The maiden shook her head, I do not feel that way, driving a sports car cannot compare to the sense of security driving an SUV gives. Shouldn't ladies all protect themselves better? Beautiful lady, it seems like you lack a sense of security. Yang Chen burst with joy in his heart, a seemingly unhappy married lady, this type of lady was the easiest to seduce. Who could have known that the woman still shook her head, you're wrong, I am very safe, the reason I said driving an SUV gives a better sense of security, is merely to give oneself's heart one more portion of comfort. You're the one who's wrong, if you really had a sense of security, right now you should give me a slap and have me beat it. Yan Chen nefariously smiled, and puffed out a mouth of smoke. The maiden did not dodge, the cigarette's pungent smell dissipated in the wind, a pair of shining eyes like stars stared straight at Yang Chen, in the end showing a brilliant smile, which family's young master are you from? If you are thinking of using such words to attract I, Tang Wan's attention, then you are underestimating me too much. You are called Tang Wan. Yang Chen silently called out twice, laughed and said. I'm not any family's young master, I am merely a mutton skewer seller, if you have time some other day you could come to the West Region's market to find me there. Mutton skewer seller. Tang Wan seriously evaluated Yang Chen for a few moments, unable to resist, a poochy laugh came out. She trembled from it for a moment then said. Little handsome, are you treating me as a fool or are you fooling yourself? I'm really a mutton skewer seller, although I do not have a business license. Yang Chen said in distress, pondering why now in this world, nobody believes when the truth is spoken. Chapter 13 Marriage You Are Listening at Novel Full Dot Audio Tang Wan gave out a cold humph sound, then suddenly stretched out her hands that were as smooth as teeth, in one movement grabbing onto Yang Chen's collared shirt button. She charmingly rolled her eyes at Yang Chen and said, an Italian handmade collared shirt, a specialized in design for royal families yet does not have a brand or logo. However, button is made with South Africa's blue diamonds, with state-of-the-art polishing technology. This simple piece of clothing, is priced at least $10 million. Did you think nobody would recognize such a product, and think you are wearing an inferior brand shirt with plastic buttons? 
Yang Chen was embarrassed, he did not expect that someone would recognize his shirt's true value, however he soon turned it to laughter and said. Miss Tang indeed has great insight, however you are still wrong. This blue diamond was produced in Namibia, and not South Africa. And you still say you're not any family's young master. Clothes that use Namibian blue diamonds as buttons, the entire Zhonghai has no more than a few qualified to wear, it is not fun to lie. Tang Wan squinted her eyes, she already nothing left to say. Yang Chen ferociously took a few drags off the cigarette, tossed the cigarette but into the river, and said in a depressed manner. Miss Tang, let us not beat around the bush. It's true you are beautiful, Yang Chen would like to sleep with you, but there's no need for me to pretend to be a mutton skewer seller to sleep with you, right? I've already said I'm just a mutton skewer seller, but who says a mutton skewer seller can't wear a clothing worth 10 million? Can't you trust me, and change the subject into something more romantic? That is very crude. Tang Wan unhesitantly criticized. Then followed with a smile like flowers, however, I like your straightforwardness, all right, I will temporarily treat you as a mutton skewer seller. However, Mr. Yang, I never intended to sleep with you, and more so wouldn't sleep with a mutton skewer seller even more, I'm not the slightest bit tempted. Then what did you speak so much to me for? Yang Chen felt a little depressed, initially thinking that he coincidentally met a prey that would leap into his arms, but who knew the other party had no intentions in this regard. Tang Wan chuckled, a pair of peaks and ridges shook on her chest, Mr. Yang, you're really a reckless man, much more pleasing to the eye than those men who pretend to be refined. It is a pity, I'm not the kind of woman you think I am. The reason I spoke all these words to you, is merely because my heart felt a little stifled earlier. Then. Then, my mood is much better now, I want to thank you for that. If there is fate and we meet again, I'll treat you to tea. Done with speaking, Tang Wan walked towards her Land Rover, stopped halfway, turned around, tenderly smiled and said. Right, I suggest you do not blow smoke at a lady in the future, majority of ladies aren't nightclub hostesses, and will not view your actions as polite. Finished speaking, she swayed her voluminous figure back into the car. After he saw the Land Rover disappear into the distance like a leopard in the dark, Yang Chen then grudgingly muttered to himself, is selling mutton skewers really so mediocre? Do I have to change occupations? The next morning, soon after waking Yang Chen heard someone knocking on his room's door. Yang Chen unhappily got off his bed, and walked to the door in only his briefs. He opened the door and it revealed as expected, the frost-faced Lin Ruashi. Upon seeing Yang Chen's muscular upper body, Lin Ruashi unintentionally blushed, but maintained her poker face and said. Hurry up and put on some clothes, I'm in a rush. Yang Chen scratched his head, I mean Miss Lin, for a marriage certificate why are you in such a rush? Can't you wait for me to take a shower and eat breakfast first? That won't do, I have a meeting at 10. Lin Ruashi's tone did not allow any rejection, don't forget to bring your bank book and identity card. Helpless to the woman's might, Yang Chen put on his sleeved shirt and shorts then followed Lin Ruashi downstairs, and they got into her red Bentley car together. Lin Ruashi took two big bags from the back and tossed them towards Yang Chen, not even turning her head and said. Change into these, so we aren't viewed as jokes. Yang Chen only now noticed, today Lin Ruashi wore a formal OL, office lady, suit, the beige-colored suit obviously made by the hands of professionals, with flowing lines that covered Lin Ruashi's enchanting curves, set off the ice.cold yet full of intellectual temperament beautiful face. In the eyes of men was definitely enchanting enough to ruin a country. He he, wifey, the official marriage is yet to be done but you have already purchased clothes for your husband. Yang Chen laughed shamelessly, and took out from the large bag a pair of Armani suit and trousers, and also a pair of brand new Pierre Cardin leather shoes. Obviously lots of thoughtful preparation was put in. Lin Ruashi seriously drove and pretended not hearing anything, lazy to respond to Yang Chen's rogue tone. Yang Chen was very nimble, despite being in a narrow seat, 
he effortlessly changed into this brand new set of luxury clothing, and very narcissistically used the car's mirror to comb his hair. His whole person now looked a hundred times more refreshing. Although she kept looking forward, Lin Ruashi couldn't help sneakily peeking at Yang Chen for a few instances. Upon seeing Yang Chen in a western suit and tie, Lin Ruashi felt her heart beat faster. Although this felt a little shameful, but the man's free and unrestrained look, and eyes which occasionally revealed sadness, all made her a little fascinated. Yang Chen had a much more extraordinary charisma in comparison to the young masters of those wealthy families in this western suit. Lin Ruashi comforted herself in her heart saying. At least he is able to pose, and won't humiliate me when we go out. Speeding throughout, and getting Yang Chen's colored photo done along the way, the two quickly arrived at the Civil Administration Bureau. After getting off the car, Lin Ruashi hesitated for a moment, but still clenched her teeth and hooked Yang Chen's arm, creating an appearance of an innocent and happy girl. Yang Chen couldn't help but laugh saying. Good well dot behaved wifey, already starting to act from here, very professional. You're not allowed to laugh. Play your role properly for we have signed the contract. Lin Ruashi glared at Yang Chen. Yang Chen helplessly sighed, allowing Lin Ruashi to cling on to his arms. Anyway this arm could occasionally rub against Lin Ruashi's soft and abundant chest, being able to take advantage of this was a good thing. Lin Ruashi felt this as well, but angrily clenched her teeth and endured. After all, in the future there would be many days which require such acting, thus it was necessary to let his bad fella freeload a little. Walking into the main doors of the Civil Administration Bureau, the two's talented man and beautiful woman, idiom for an ideal couple, looks attracted everybody's attention. Yang Chen, whose whole body wore branded goods seemed cool and free, while Lin Ruashi naturally was beautiful to the point fish would dive deeper into the water in shame, and birds would fall from forgetting how to fly because of her captivating beauty. In the eyes of the surrounding people they seemed like a match made in heaven. The Civil Administration Bureau's worker simply verified the two's documents, then quickly carried on with the procedures, with a face full of congratulatory smiles and said to the two. Congratulations to you both, this is your marriage certificate please take good care of it. You two are truly a couple that makes people envy, and will definitely live a long and great life together. Dot Lin Ruashi kept hold of Yang Chen's wrist, being stared at by the people in the surrounding made her face feel scorching hot for quite some time. Upon receiving the marriage certificate, she felt like she was in a dream for it was so magical. I actually got married, with a man I've only known for a day and got married. Lin Ruashi with confused eyes glanced at Yang Chen, realizing right now Yang Chen also stupidly stared at the marriage certificate, spellbound. Is he also filled with complicated emotions? What is he thinking of now? Does he dislike it, or is he happy? Lin Ruashi suddenly asked herself these questions, then felt frightened. Why would I care about what he thinks? Yang Chen suddenly turned his head, face to face with Lin Ruashi, evilly smiled then said. What's the matter my wife? It can't be that you started regretting right after receiving the marriage certificate right. For you were the one who forcefully pulled me here. You think I'm really willing to marry you? Lin Ruashi in a small voice bitterly said. However you can be at ease, when I Lin Ruashi decide upon something I never go back, you just need to behave well and coordinate with me to act for these three years. It will be enough if you don't create problems for me. After the two walked out of the Civil Administration Bureau, Lin Ruashi released her hand on Yang Chen's arm and returned to a face of frost, All right, I've got to go for a meeting, you can go home first. Go home. Please don't tell me you want me to walk back. Yang Chen felt really bitter, this wife of his was too high quality, Right after marriage she wanted her husband to walk tens of kilometers home. Lin Ruashi took out a card from her leather bag and handed it to Yang Chen, on top of the card printed was a graceful font that had an address. 89 Dragon Garden, Culture Road Since we have already gotten married, then on the surface we need to live together. Otherwise we can't trick others. You should just move in together with me, 
and quickly move out from that dog kennel of yours. After those words, without even turning back she got on her car and drove away. Yang Chen laughed in a manner that looked uglier than crying, and mumbled to himself, in the end, I still have to walk. Chapter 14 A New Home You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio Dragon Garden's entire area was filled with luxury villas. The gap between each villa was about a mile in between, surrounded by clear waters and lush greenery, with European-styled furnishings bringing forth an atmosphere of utmost elegance. When the villa's security guards saw Yang Chen, suspicion sprouted within them, as they were very curious as to why a rich man was walking in. However, due to his whole body full of branded Western clothing, they did not stop him either, saving Yang Chen the effort for a long explanation. After entering Dragon Garden, Yang Chen had to walk two more kilometers before reaching Unit 89. The entire villa's area exceeded 400 square meters in size. This figure was without considering the gigantic swimming pool or the huge garage outside. The Baroque-styled garden was made up of huge and heavy stones too. It was hard to imagine how huge the price tag of this house was. After ringing the doorbell, the finely carved mahogany door soon opened. The stranger opening the door was a home.clothed middle.aged lady with an apron, with a face that had slight signs of aging. Yet it was maintained very well, not looking old despite probably being 40 to 50 years old. At this moment, seeing Yang Chen, her eyes revealed some happiness and she enthusiastically said. You must be young master asterisk, miss did say you would come today. Please come in. TL. Wang Ma actually calls Yang Chen, Gui equals plus and so it sounds like Miss Husband Master instead of Young Master, but Young Master is as close as it gets for the translation in this case. Seeing that the middle-aged lady seemed totally uninterested in his background, Yang Chen let loose a little, entered the house, smiled and said. Elder sister, how shall I address you? My name is Wang Yulan, you can simply call me Wang Ma, Wang Ma with open eyebrows and smiling eyes then said. How can I allow young master address me as elder sister? I've watched miss grow up, it would be more appropriate to call me auntie. Wang Ma isn't old at all. If you walked on the streets, you can definitely capture the hearts of many men, sincerely said Yang Chen. There is no woman who doesn't like being complimented as beautiful, Wang Ma may be middle.aged, but naturally would not be any different. Getting even more joyful, Wang Ma had Yang Chen sit, and happily said. Young master, please rest for a while, I would soon be done with the kitchen and we could have lunch. It's a pity that miss has a meeting and doesn't have time to return home, Wang Ma, are you and Lin? Er, Ruashi the only one staying here. Yang Chen eyes wandered around. The villa had three stories, modern electronics all over, a set of real white leather sofa, black marble floor, mahogany furniture, and even some big and small paintings by famous artists, and a few blossoming orchids swaying on the window side, appearing simple yet elegant. Looking towards the large rooms on the second and third stories, Yang Chen felt the greatness of having space. Wang Ma sorrowfully sighed, that's right, with just us two women the house feels strangely deserted. Miss is so busy with work and is not at home all day, usually it is just me alone in this big house. However, it is great from now on, since Miss now has you, our house will finally have a man. It is more proper this way. Seeing how contented Wang Ma looked, Yang Chen curiously asked. Wang Ma, don't you feel that it's strange how Ruashi suddenly decided to marry me? He he, Wang Ma laughed and said. Young master, I've seen Miss grow up, since young Miss has never had a single boyfriend, despite the fact that those trying to woo her weren't few. However, Miss never looked at any of them, yet she married you. This must mean that you, young master, are special. Miss is so intelligent, and I trust Miss' judgment, so there is nothing to worry about. Yang Chen nodded in understanding, yet in his heart softly echoed, Wang Ma wouldn't possibly have thought, that him and Lin Ruashi's marriage was only by contract. After eating the luxurious lunch, Yang Chen contentedly made a burp, rubbed his round stomach and laughed saying. 
Wang Ma's craft is amazing, the taste is much better than those big restaurants. Wang Ma happily said, is that so? Then young master must eat at home more often in the future, miss often has emergencies at work and doesn't return home. The food is cooked yet there is no one to eat it, it is a pity to throw them away. That brat is throwing away heavenly objects, ignore her. Wang Ma can just make good food for me in the future. Yang Chen pounded on his chest. Wang Ma knew that Yang Chen was kidding, and happily nodded in agreement. After cleaning up, Wang Ma took off her apron and said. Young master, let me bring you to your room. If there is anything else you require please tell me and I will buy it for you. My room. Yang Chen blanked out for a moment, then remembered agreeing not to sleep together with Lin Ruashi. Wang Ma led the way and said. Young master, miss has thoughtfully chose for you. She says that you are used to sleeping alone, and thus specially prepared a big room for you. She even bought several sets clothes which are inside. Oh is that so? Okay. Ruashi is. Pretty thoughtful. Yang Chen rubbed his nose, even he himself felt that what he said sounded fake. Isn't it? This is the first time I've seen Miss do so much for a man. Also, Miss says you are busy with work now, thus the marriage is done first, and the wedding banquet will be done in the future. She was being thoughtful for you. Wang Ma happily said. Yang Chen instead had a head full of sweat. What is this, so that Chick had long prepared countermeasures against Wang Ma by pushing all the problems towards me? How busy could selling mutton skewers possibly be? Entering his room, Yang Chen felt a little surprised, this room was humongous, to the point where it was bigger than the entire apartment he had been renting. Ceiling dot to dot floor windows with white curtains swayed at the side, a large king-sized bed, a 42-inch Sony LED TV, an Apple computer at the bedside, classical decorated side lamp, and shining parquet floor. Looking towards the wall, there were two huge built that IN cabinets, filled with brand new clothes, neckties and leather shoes. Yang Chen laughed inside. Seems like my beautiful wife did not mistreat me, as the first apparatus for acting had been completely prepared. How is it? I hope young master is pleased. Wang Ma enthusiastically said. Pleased, very pleased, this is much better than expected, thank you Wang Ma. Yang Chen nodded. Please thank miss instead, all I did was run some errands. Wang Ma was already beginning to help secure this couple's relationship. Yang Chen understood Wang Ma's intentions but didn't blow the bubble, Wang Ma, I still have several things remaining at my previous home I must retrieve, so I'll have to make a trip back. That is as it should be, surely some things become a habit to use. However. Yang Chen awkwardly said. Wang Ma, do we have any transportation vehicle at home? If there isn't a car even a bicycle is fine too, to help me get around quickly. Wang Ma stared at Yang Chen in shock, as if she was looking at something incomparably scary, young master, are you saying that you walked in here? Unfortunately you've guessed correctly, Wang Ma. Yang Chen raised his hands. Wang Ma didn't know to laugh or to cry, Miss is too much, how could she let you? Young master walk here. Young master you mustn't be so casual staying here in the future, and must at least have a car. Young master, please follow me, our house still has a few cars that are usually idle, you can drive whichever you want out. Yang Chen's eyes lit up, previously seeing Lin Ruashi drive the luxurious Bentley Arnage made his hands itch, but he had no money to buy a car. He had been envious all this while, yet now he can get such a car for free. Chapter 15 My wife is a rich woman you are listening at novel full dot audio. Oh these cars, Miss usually doesn't use them. They were all given to her by business partners, Miss has basically never driven them at all, young master, if you like any of them, you could just drive off with it. Wang Ma happily recommended. Lo Yang Chen, curious about what his beautiful wife does for a living, refrained from asking Wang Ma due to embarrassment. After all, if he didn't even know that piece of information, 
wouldn't this marriage seem a bit too strange? Therefore, he planned to find time and ask Lin Ruashi herself. After looking around the garage, Yang Chen finally spotted a relatively normal sports car, a milky dot white BMW M3. However, in fact, this car is already considered one of the best in the city, with a top speed of 300 km per hour. Yet in Lin Ruashi's garage, there really aren't any cars less I dot catching than this M3. This car will do. Yang Chen said, while pointing at the M3. Wang Ma a little doubtfully asked. Young master, why not pick a better car? This car seems to be the cheapest of the bunch. A $1.2 million car was the cheapest, Yang Chen laughed and explained. This car will do, an dot catching car isn't good, it is better not to flaunt wealth and maintain a low profile. No wonder Miss is willing to settle with Young Master, Young Master's character is really rare. Youngsters nowadays all want to flaunt their wealth, yet Young Master tries to hide it. Wang Ma nodded in content, then went to the corner of the garage to retrieve the keys for the M3. Yang Chen deftly got into the car, and the automatic garage door rolled up. Yang Chen then waved goodbye to Wang Ma as the car shot out of the garage like an arrow. Wang Ma silently watched Yang Chen drive off, sighs and says to herself. Youngsters nowadays are really difficult to understand. Although Yang Chen hasn't driven in half a year, he didn't feel that his driving skills had deteriorated. The M3's excellent quality showed itself as it flew down Zhonghai City's expressway like a mirage. Weaving through the traffic as if there were no obstacles, constantly driving above 100 km per hour, this is considered a shocking speed in the city. Occasionally, there would be a few traffic policemen who noticed Yang Chen's excessive speeding, but before they could react he had already whizzed past them. In less than half an hour, Yang Chen arrived at his own apartment. After going up the floors, Yang Chen found his apartment door open, and frowned. His first reaction was that someone had broken in, but peeking into the apartment, the person he found inside was actually the familiar Li Jingjing. Li Jingjing wore a white blouse embroidered with flowers, a cool green short skirt, with her dark hair tied into a ponytail, and a few strands swaying along with the breeze flowing in, she looked youthfully elegant and refined. At that moment, the girl was earnestly mopping the floor. Although Yang Chen's apartment only had a few things, dust was something it did not lack. Seeing Yang Chen return home, Li Jingjing revealed streaks of joy and a flushed face because of the exercise, like a refreshing teenager in summertime. Big brother Yang you're home. Yang Chen felt a touch of warmth in his heart. Before Li Jingjing left for university two months ago, she often came to help clean. Now after returning with a job, she still found the time to help him clean his apartment. With a heart full of pity and guilt for the girl, Yang Chen moved forward to touch Li Jingjing's ponytail and says, Jingjing, don't come to sweep this place anymore, I'm moving. Moving. Li Jingjing momentarily stunned, Big brother Yang, are you leaving Zhonghai? The girl panically asked. Yang Chen thought for a while, and chose to speak the truth, No, I just got married, and am about to move in with my wife. I will still be in Zhonghai though. Suddenly, Li Jingjing's face turned ashen white and some tears started to float around the surface of her beautiful eyes, yet she immediately pointed her head down to wipe it off. Just from her trembling shoulders, anyone would understand that she had lost her calm. After the two shared some time in deep silence, Li Jingjing raised her head with red eyes, and showed a strong smile, Congratulations, Big Brother Yang. Sister Dutton. La Shi. Must be really beautiful. Yang Chen's heart also trembled a little, but short dot term pain is better than long dot term pain. Yang Chen believed that Li Jingjing has to face this in the end, so he steeled his heart. Listening to Li Jingjing's words, Lin Ruashi's beautiful face flashed across his mind and he subconsciously nodded. A hint of despair flashes in Li Jingjing's eyes, and subsides. She then sourly smiles and says. Big brother Yang, you're really awful, such a big affair yet you didn't let me know. But I. I still have to give the two of you my blessing. 
I. I'm leaving now. Watching Li Jingjing tread down the stairs like a hurt little rabbit, Yang Chen felt terrible in his heart and says in a hurry. Jingjing, in a few days I will go to Yizhong to visit you, work hard. TL. Yizhong is the name of the school Li Jingjing works at, called First Middle, but the author doesn't specify if it is a high school or junior high or both, Li Jingjing momentarily paused her steps, softly complied, and ran down the staircase. Waiting till Li Jingjing had left for some time, Yang Chen then drew a cigarette out from his pocket, lit it up, and violently smoked a few breaths. The melancholy in his eyes gradually dissipated, and it turned to resoluteness. Yang Chen was absolutely confident in his memory. When he left home he had definitely locked the door. This meant that the reason Li Jingjing had been able to enter was because the door had already been forcibly opened by someone else. However, who would barge into his house for no reason? Yang Chen thought of two possibilities. First, it could be China's intelligence agency beginning to investigate him, but that seemed illogical, because if they really wanted to handle him, going directly to him would be more effective. Second, it could also have been Chen Feng who he had agitated two days ago. Since realizing that entire police force couldn't take him down, thinking of another way would be inevitable, TL. Chen Feng is the guy who was creating trouble for the street vendors, really, not shedding tears till seeing the coffin. Yang Chen stoically says, then tosses away the cigarette and begins to sort out his belongings. Yang Chen rearranged the large chest in his house, stuffed some clothes into his large ragged bag, then proceeded to one of the white walls in the toilet. Yang Chen fiercely threw a punch towards it and a hole appeared in the wall. Yang Chen retrieved a fist-sized black wooden box and immediately placed it into the bag with the clothes. Again speeding, Yang Chen returned to the villa at Dragon Garden. After parking the car, Yang Chen entered the villa from the automatic door. The moment he entered, he saw a beautiful figure lying on the sofa in the living room while a new Korean drama was playing on the huge TV. With her hair tied up in a bun, and an exquisitely white jade neck that could give a person a thousand dreams, who else could it be other than the newlywed Lin Ruashi? Yang Chen revealed a playful smile, it was unexpected that my ice-cold wife actually likes watching romantic Korean dramas. At the same time, finding this fun, the pent-dot-up depressed mood turns for the better. He walked up and fiercely grabbed Lin Ruashi's shoulders, my good wife, give hubby a kiss. Chapter 16 The Father. In Law appears you are listening at novel full. Audio. Startled by Yang Chen's sudden appearance, Lin Ruashi jumped from the sofa and struggled to escape from his arms. She glared at Yang Chen. You are not allowed to touch me. Hey now. You don't have to overreact that much. Yang Chen grimaced while shrugging his shoulders. I was just teasing you. If I actually kissed you, I'm sure in the middle of the night I'd be hacked into pieces like in the movie Psycho. Lin Ruashi ignored Yang Chen as she pressed a button on the TV remote. As the TV turned off, her face began blushing knowing that Yang Chen has now figured out her guilty pleasure of watching rom-coms. She gave Yang Chen an angry look. I heard from Wang Ma that you went to pack up your old belongings. Don't you dare bring those dirty things into my house. Don't worry, it's just a few articles of clothing, Yang Chen replied while pointing toward a small bag at the foot of the stairs. Though, my greatest woe is that after living here, what will happen to my mutton skewer stand? You still want to open your stand? Lin Ruashi growled as she looked at Yang Chen as if she was staring at a freak. No matter how much she tried to understand him, she could never understand his obsession with selling mutton skewers. Blinking his eyes, Yang Chen replied, what of it? Our marriage contract didn't bar me from selling mutton skewers right. Gnashing her teeth, Lin Ruashi responded. In no way would I allow you to sell your mutton skewers. Tomorrow, you must go out and find a job, preferably a respectable job in an office building. Yang Chen scratched his head while looking perplexed. To be honest, with a degree from Harvard University, 
which he easily obtained, it would be very easy for him to enter a majority of the top companies, but he is not used to sitting in an office with AC. In his eyes, this type of career could never match the joy of selling mutton skewers on the street. You don't need to think of an excuse, this is mandatory. Interjected Lin Ruashi. Looking at Ruashi's, if you don't switch your job, you're dead, gaze while remembering her previous suicide threat, Yang Chen felt a sudden cold sweat and quickly consented, okay okay. I'll listen to you. Tomorrow, I'll go and find a new job. Hearing these words, Ruashi approvingly nodded. Appearing to suddenly remember something, she took out her bag and retrieved a new smartphone from it. Handing it to Yang Chen, she said. Here, take this phone in case I can't find you when you go out. Yang Chen excitedly received the phone. Seems like this is a profitable marriage. A mansion, a sports car, and even a free phone. Even though this wife looks a bit distant, she is very attractive and well-dot-mannered. Looking at Yang Chen's blissful expression, Ruashi couldn't do anything other than to give him a contempt look. Stifling a yawn, while making a tired stretching pose, she said. Well, I'm off to bed. You can go prepare for tomorrow's job hunt, BVEC just as Ruashi started climbing up the stairs, the doorbell suddenly rang. Wang Ma, who was busy in the kitchen, dashed out while wiping her wet hands on her apron, and opened the door. Master, you've come, hearing Wang Ma saying master, Ruashi's face suddenly became pale as she elegantly turned around to look at the middle dot aged man walking into the house. The mature man wore a dark blue shirt while giving off a refined aura with his well dot shaved beard. The only way you could tell his age was by the wrinkles near his eyes, and the countless strands of white hair. One can clearly tell that he is Ruashi's father from his appearance alone. At the same moment Lin Kun entered from the door, his expression became extremely ugly. Giving dagger dot looks at Ruashi, he quickly swept his gaze around and glanced at Yang Chen. Father, Ruashi weakly called out. His arrival didn't garner much surprise. It was almost as if he was a stranger without any feelings. Father. Lin Kun coldly laughed. In your eyes, do you even see me as one? Without any warning, you just married this strange brute. Do you even see me as a father? Lin Kuen's roar caused the whole room to shake and echo. Wang Ma, standing at the wrong place and time, was scared silly. Never would she have expected that her young miss would marry someone without informing her father. Ruashi's eyes began to turn red as tears started welling up inside. However, she fought back, saying, as I've said before, my marriage is my decision. So what if he is a brute? I would rather marry this guy than Su Ji Hong. You. Is this how you talk to your father? Lin Kuen sneered. Great, what a waste raising you up. Don't ever think that just because your grandmother gave you the company, I can't educate you on what to do. Don't forget, I still have 30% of the shares in the company. I am a major stockholder. Even more importantly, I am your biological father. Father. Ruashi bit her lips and wept. Ever since I was little, only mother and grandma was by my side. I never even caught a glimpse of your shadow back then. Furthermore, I don't like Su Ji Hong at all. You don't have to waste your time thinking about this. You don't like him. So what? It wouldn't hurt to be engaged to the next CEO of the Donghua Science Technology Company. And are you telling me that you actually like this brute? Lin Kuen said while pointing at Yang Chen who was standing still. From the moment Lin Kuen entered till the father-daughter conversation, Yang Chen understood most of what was going on, it seemed like it was because of this ill-tempered father's forcing, that Lin Ruashi had chosen to marry him. But of course, the series of unfortunate events which led to their man-woman relationship is a big reason that caused this marriage too. Being called a brute more than once, even the heart of a clay Buddha would feel uncomfortable. Yang Chen, who had not taken the role of that man's son. In dot law, looked at Lin Kun's finger and said, Uncle, I advise you to put down your finger. 
It might be dangerous. Lin Cohen sneered, you prick, even you are talking back to me. I'm aware of who you are. I have already assigned people to investigate clearly. You're just a wet market's mutton skewer vendor. Even though I don't know what you did to my daughter to make her marry you, but in my eyes you are just a pile of shit, hey. What are you doing? In a flash, Lin Cohen, who was acting all high and mighty, suddenly pulled his finger back in pain. Holding his finger, you could see droplets of sweat rolling down his forehead. Yang Chen. You, Ruashi had seen it clearly. Yang Chen's hand had instantaneously shot out and pinched Lin Kuen's extended finger. And then he pulled his finger back so quickly that it seemed as if he didn't move at all. Yang Chen showed a calm expression, and he turned to Ruashi while grinning. It's nothing serious, I just don't like it when people point fingers and curse at me. Especially when I already advise them not to. His finger is broken. It'll take around 10 days to a month to heal. If it was the previous him, just now, that man would have had his head broken. Lin Kuen resisted the pain and roared, just you wait bastard. I won't let you die a peaceful death. I will find somebody to deal with you, father. Stop talking. What happened to your hand, although Ruashi hated her father, blood is thicker than water. At this moment, looking at Lin Kuen's painful expression, Ruashi's heart softened as she squatted down to help support him. You slut. Don't touch me. Lin Kuen screamed as he suddenly pushed aside Ruashi, throwing her down on the ground. Father. You, Ruashi's complexion turned pale, as she could not believe that her father would actually call her a slut. Ruashi's eyes grew dimmer as she is about to faint. In the corner, Wang Ma was already in tears, but this was not her place for a servant to speak up. However, upon seeing Ruashi on the ground crying, she quickly went up to console her. Lin Kuen hobbled back up as he glared at Yang Chen. Youngster, remember how you hit me. I, Lin Kuen, will make sure you are unable to comprehend your death. Noticing Ruashi who was thrown off to the side, Yang Chen felt his heart being clenched involuntarily. No matter how cold she may be, on pen and paper, she was still Yang Chen's legal wife. Anger started welling up inside of him. While Yang Chen's face seemed tranquil, only his lips betrayed his demeanor, with them arcing up showing a contemptuous look. I'll only say this once. I never go around looking for trouble. I don't know what happened between you and my wife, and I don't care to know. But I have a principle. I hate being threatened. Without waiting for Lin Kuen's reaction, a lightning dot fast palm struck onto Lin Kuen's left cheek. Pa, the whole living room became deadly silent as the crisp sound started echoing around. Just then, the recently standing Lin Kuen got slapped unconscious with a single hit. Young master, about this, Wang Ma stammered as she didn't notice Yang Chen's outrageous strength. How should we deal with this? Look at this commotion. As for Ruashi, she had already collapsed in Wang Ma's embrace as she looked at these past events with not even a trace of concern. Yang Chen said in an indifferent tone. Wang Ma, just take care of Ruashi. Let me deal with this stupid pig. After saying those words, Yang Chen picked Lin Kuen from the ground and dragged him out of the house. After having walked a short distance, Yang Chen arrived at the dumpster site, lightly threw Lin Kuen into it, and subsequently closed the iron lid. Chapter 17 Even a pig is cuter than him you are listening at novel full dot audio. Lin Ruashi untied her bunned up hair and let the soft and smooth hair fall on her incomparably beautiful and tender face. However, on that beautiful face was a pale and exhausted expression that arouses pity for her. Watching Yang Chen enter, Lin Ruashi raised her head with complicated emotions, she did not ask how Yang Chen handled Lin Kuen, and instead showed a smile of self.ridicule. I've become a joke to you, that's right, I have such a father, I have such a joke of a family, do you find me very pitiful, are you sympathizing with me in your heart? Do not sympathize with me. I do not need anybody's cheap sympathy, especially yours, 
who says I pity you. Yang Chen laughed, drew out a cigarette from his pocket, and enjoyed a breath of smoke. You're not allowed to smoke in front of me. Lin Ruashi frowned, and unhappily waved her hand to dissipate the smoke in front of her. Yang Chen turned a deaf ear to her, and lied on the big sofa at the side, raised his head to smoke and said. I just want to advise slash warn you, not to show me such a pitiful look. At the very least, you know who your parents are, and you have received love from your elders before. Although your family is not that warm, but at least you have a family. Also, you're born this beautiful, to the point of being the subject of people's attention wherever you go, unworried about food or clothes since birth, driving luxury cars at such a young age, you have all that you want. It is impossible for you to understand, someone who does not even know who his parents are, or where he is even from, someone who has nothing, and how that would feel. Suddenly hearing such words, Lin Ruashi is stunned, for the first time, Lin Ruashi seriously gazed into Yang Chen's pair of eyes, those eyes revealed melancholy in loneliness, making Lin Ruashi's heart unconsciously clench itself. Yang Chen did not stop there, with a soft voice as if he was speaking to himself, he said, since young you're always alone, when hungry, when cold, when bullied, when beat up, all alone. Without a father or mother, no family, no brothers or sisters, not even friends. To survive, you fight till you're bleeding all over just for moldy biscuit, to fill up the stomach, you eat grass and tree barks till your intestines bleed. Nobody would care about your life, nobody would pity you, because you are just a pathetic life form abandoned by the world, even a domestically raised dog has a higher status than you. Listening to the man's low and hoarse narrative, Lin Ruashi's eyes turned red again, not for herself, but for that pathetic life form. I'm sorry, Lin Ruashi lowered her head, and softly said. I didn't know your childhood was so tough. Yang Chen lowered his head, and gradually revealed that usual undisciplined smile, my good wife, I made it up, you actually believed it. You, Lin Ruashi raised her head, she was just feeling sad for him, then this rogue actually said he made it up, Ruashi immediately turned angry, how can you be like that? He he, look at you, this angry face is so much more beautiful than the crying face you had earlier. Yang Chen praised. Lin Ruashi felt warmth in her heart, she understood that Yang Chen did it to divert her attention and clear away the unhappiness, but she was unable to say any words of gratitude. She looked at Yang Chen as if nothing happened, since you were lying to me, then where are your parents? Our marriage is only by contract, but if your parents suddenly appear, then things would get complicated. Yang Chen's two fingers toyed around with the cigarette butt, and he plainly smiled, there was one thing I did not lie to you about previously, I really do not know who my parents are, I was separated from them before I was five years old, this name is all I could remember, I'm an orphan. Hearing Yang Chen casually mention that he is an orphan, Lin Ruashi felt sour in her heart, she suddenly thought of consoling him, yet doesn't know how to, struggling internally, she nodded, then remained silent. After the two shared silence for a while, Lin Ruashi finally spoke. Yang Chen, there are some things I need to make clear to you, after all we signed a contract, you have the right to know the reasons this situation came to be. Yang Chen frowned and said. Are you talking about the matter regarding that stupid pig of a father forcing you to marry? You are not allowed to call my father a stupid pig. Lin Ruashi was a little peeved, if he is a pig, then ain't I also a pig. He he, my family's little Ruashi is so pretty, even if she is a pig she would be the cute and sweet dot smelling kind. You are the pig. Lin Ruashi rolled her eyes, without any anger, she returned to the original topic saying, my father holds 30% of the company's stocks, and is a major shareholder, second only to me, but this isn't the main point, after all before my granny passed on she handed 60% of the stocks over to me, I have absolute control over the company. However, in my father's hands, there is the ownership of an old villa. Is that old villa important to you? Yang Chen doubtfully asked. Extremely important. Lin Ruashi's eyes revealed an expression of beautiful reminiscence, in my childhood, there was only my granny and mother to accompany me, 
I grew up there. My mom and dad's marriage was merely for money and profit, my dad didn't love my mom, he is a playboy, up till now he is still the same. After saying all this, Lin Ruashi's eyes show traces of abhorrence, although he is never at home from day to night, he is still the owner of the house. Naturally, when Granny passed on, he never allowed me to return, and because he lives a life of debauchery, his finances are nearly depleted, and he's preparing to sell off the villa. What does this have to do with our marriage? Yang Chen boringly asked. Lin Ruashi coldly rolled her eyes at Yang Chen, I want to take back the villa from him, but he isn't willing to give it to me, I offered much higher than the market price, and he still isn't willing to sell it to me. He only has one condition, which is to have me marry Su family's young master. He clearly has received benefits from the Su family, the father even needs to use coercion to make the daughter marry, in my opinion he is no stupid pig, even a pig is cuter than him. Yang Chen seriously shook his head. Lin Ruashi did not care about Yang Chen's reaction, and continued with. The Su family Su Jihong has always been pestering me, but I'm not willing to go against the Su family, after all the Su family is one of the top five strongest families in Zhonghai, we can't afford to offend them, therefore, Noel.n, therefore you decided to marry me, getting rid of that Su family's brat from having any more ideas, first getting through that obstacle, then thinking of a way to take back the real estate from your stupid pig of a father. That's right. Lin Ruashi wearily nodded, in recent days, her mind has been boggled over this problem. A young lady merely in her twenties, already carried such a heavy burden. Yang Chen sighed and said. Geez, this idea of yours cures the symptoms but not the disease, in the end you still have to face pressure from the Su family and your father, that. That indecent thing. I'm not able to care about that, I can only take a step at a time. Although Lin Ruashi's voice was very soft, her tone was incomparably determined. Yang Chen stood up, picked up his brand new phone, and quietly headed towards the door. Lin Ruashi frowned and said. Where are you going? I'm going to a bar, to look for women. Yang Chen looked back, with a face full of seriousness. Chapter 18 Charming Rose You are listening at NovelFull.audio Bar Street is extraordinarily quiet during the day, with only a few cats and dogs prowling the streets, very few people and vehicles pass by, which is a stark contrast to the hustle and bustle at night. BDNV Yang Chen pushed open the main door to Rose Bar, and greeted the napping bartender Little Zhao. Then strolled directly to the passage at the back of the bar. Several of the waiters, who noticed the arrival of Yang Chen, did not obstruct him, and instead greeted him with respect. They clearly knew the relationship between Yang Chen and Rose was not ordinary. The passage behind the bar was strangely over 50 meters long. At the end of it, stood two tall men in suits, guarding the exquisite wooden door three meters behind them. When the two noticed it was Yang Chen that came, they neatly bowed immediately, and followed with a welcome gesture. Yang Chen nodded, walked forward to the flower-dot-carved wooden door and opened it. A natural fragrance burst forth from the inside, bringing with it a slight scent of lavender. This is a surprisingly humongous room, with smooth brown parquet flooring, black marble walls, and in the middle was a huge seven-dot-foot wide bed on a leather frame. Coffee-dot-colored decorations gave the room some dark charm, revealing a somewhat low-profile elegance. On one side of the room is a full glass door, outside the glass door, is an open-air swimming pool and a small garden. It's difficult to imagine, that at the back of a noisy bar, is actually a quiet sanctuary, here, is Rose's, home. From the moment he entered the room, Yang Chen subconsciously felt a chill, and at the same time without hesitation, he stretched his right hand out to parry. Who? A sharp sound cut through the air, a white hand wielding a sharp and cold dagger suddenly appeared three inches away from Yang Chen's face, but it was perfectly blocked. With the sneak attack blocked, the dagger in that hand rotated in a flash, and with a movement as smooth as flowing water, it once again pierced towards Yang Chen's ribs. Yang Chen leisurely stuck his hand to that smooth warm arm, 
gently gripped it, and pushed it outwards. The hand wielding the dagger was no longer able to move an inch closer to Yang Chen's body. The sneak attacker realized that she did not have enough strength and lifted her small foot to strike the back Yang Chen's waist. Unexpectedly, as if he had foreseen all these movements, Yang Chen pushed down the arm with the dagger in one move. The small foot wasn't completely raised yet, but the dagger had already turned into a weapon blocking the foot's path. I'm not playing anymore. Rose unhappily pouted, and casually tossed the dagger on the floor, it's always the same, I really don't know how a monster like you trained, you're even younger than me yet your skills are so sick. Yang Chen released Rose's soft arm, that delicate feeling made it difficult to part with, he then turned around with an expression of a smile yet not a smile and said. Not bad, much quicker than last month, this improvement rate is considered extremely fast. But in front of you, I still lose in one move, Rose rolled her eyes at Yang Chen, and gracefully sat on the huge bed. As this was her room, Rose was dressed in an incomparably casual fashion, wearing a white lacy nightgown made of silk, that loosely covered her seductive figure. The V neckline on her chest, is raised high by a plentiful twin peaks, from the cleavage a black chiffon bra is spotted, struggling to hold on to the two lumps of pink flesh. The lower half of the nightgown is surprisingly short, and only covered her round bottom, while the smooth white thighs hung outside like fruits, glowing with teeth. Like luster. Yang Chen's gaze involuntarily moved towards the area between Rose's thighs, springtime sultriness rippled from there, it was actually also a pair of black chiffon panties. Vaguely, a few strands of black grass appeared before his eyes. TL. Yes, black grass I triple dot checked, Rose's eyes revealed pride, due to certain reasons, this man who made her so devoted had been trying to keep distance, but presently it seemed like he does not have much resistance against her body. While secretly happy in her heart, she throws an even more flirtatious gaze, with limpid eyes that could hook souls away. Yang Chen. Is big sis pretty? Pretty. Yang Chen swallowed his saliva, he felt his little brother had completely turned high dot spirited and valiant. God must have made a mistake. This woman must have come from hell, didn't they say only devils have such a figure? Wanna dot touch. Rose blinked, with one hand she slowly pushed the strap off, revealing a white and tender chest, her pair of thighs also spread a little, allowing the hazy beauty at the base of her legs become a little clearer. Yang Chen sucked in a deep breath, despite him having seen a numerous amount of beauties, and the even more world-breaking beautiful face of his wife, Lin Ruashi, the rose in front of him was still top grade despite her beauty being slightly inferior, even without mentioning that charming temperament, that figure was such a ripe peach. The current rose was like a red rose exuding a fragrance with sweet nectar that causes dizziness. TL. The last sentence may look a little silly, as Rose's actual name is a species of rose, in Chinese it's Changwei, aka Rosa Multiflora. If the name Changwei is preferred over Rose do let us know, the name stuck because the previous translator used this name instead of the Chinese name. Yang Chen slowly approached till he's right in front of Rose, and slowly leaned towards her. He stared deep into Rose's enchanting peach flower eyes, and suddenly made a naughty laugh, Big Sister Rose, I really want to touch, but if I do, you wouldn't grab a dagger and chop off my hand would you? Am I able to chop it? Rose charmingly said. You're too alluring, my bones are all turning soft, perhaps at that moment I would be powerless. Then would you like to try? Rose licked her lips, and said with a lazy and sultry tone. Yang Chen sucked in a breath of Rose's smell which seemingly exuded a flowery aphrodisiac, but revealed exceptionally clear eyes, is there anything I need to do in exchange? Right after those words, Rose's originally seductive eyes lost all color, and instead revealed some disappointment, rejection, pain, and resentment. The myriad of complicated feelings suddenly made Rose laugh crazily, huh, On Chen, so this is what you see me as. What do I see you as? Yang Chen playfully laughed. Do you feel that the reason I keep trying to seduce you to bed, is to make use of your strength to help achieve my goals? 
Rose forthrightly said. That's right, your strength is frightful, I've never met someone who is able to show me the meaning of invincible like you do, Rose said while slipping her blouse strap back on, once again covering the beautiful exposed skin, she faced Yang Chen and softly said. At the same time, I need you. Despite the appearance my Red Thorn Society and my father's West Union Society being the two biggest underworld gangs in the West, fact is my Red Thorn Society is still too young. If we truly go all out against each other, the West Union Society might lose a portion of its people, but our Red Thorn Society will definitely be completely annihilated. Speaking till this point, Rose's lovely face reveals some cold allure, Yang Chen, do you remember the night we first met? That night, I was ambushed, and my nearby subordinates were all wiped out, I was alone desperately trying to escape on the streets, Yang Chen quietly listens and nods slightly. In his mind, the scene of that night also gradually surfaces. Chapter 19 Objects like bullets you are listening at novel full dot audio. At the break of dawn, only a wolf dot fawn like moon hangs in the sky, but at this moment the fanged moon, seems scarlet. On a quiet street in the western region, an exhausted figure fiercely flees out of an alley, she wore tight leather clothes that outlined her perfect curves, at this moment there were several cuts on her arm, with dark red blood seeping out. She holds a cold dark dagger tightly in her hand, which looks grim yet bright under the moonlight, the residual blood on it is proof that it recently stabbed into somebody's flesh. BL.net, miss, there's no need to run anymore, a deep voice was transmitted from the warehouse in front of the woman. At the same time, the woman stops her tracks and warily stares at the numerous shadows walking out, there are at least ten of them. The leading man's head is bandaged, with a very rough face, wearing a big black coat, toying with a locally made Glock 37 pistol in his hand, blocking the road ahead without hurry or delay. Miss, your skills are indeed terrifying, having never missed a bullet, killing off thirty of our brothers all by yourself, and still able to flee until here. The man slowly said emotionlessly. However, miss, the ambush we specifically set up for you, has long anticipated this, so we waited for you to run out of bullets, and so now we have appeared. Black Bear, I've treated you well in the past, why must you collude with my father to go against me? The woman breathlessly pants, after consecutively killing tens of enemies, her subordinates were already wounded or dead, and she too is completely spent. The man code dot named Black Bear laughs out loud, Miss, it doesn't matter what disputes happened between you and Boss. I, Black Bear's life was given by Boss, naturally I would loyally do Gang Master's bidding. Big Miss has been kind to me in the past, but from the moment Big Miss left West Union Society to establish Red Thorn Society, Miss has become Boss enemy. Therefore, you are naturally my enemy, and there's no space for affection left. My father is autocratic, and does business devoid of conscience, even the underworld is ashamed by him. He also doesn't treat all of you well, in his eyes, all of you are just the dogs he is raising, so many elders and brothers are willing to quit with me, why are you so persistent and stubborn? The woman knows she already no longer has the strength to withstand the gunfire of more than ten people, and could only make her final attempt to persuade them. Black Bear shakes his head, expression as cold as before, Miss, before I send you off, I'll give you one sentence, a triad can be inhuman, but still must be loyal. The moment the words were spoken, Black Bear stretches out a finger ahead, the many men behind him raises their firearms, with their muzzles pointing at the woman ten meters ahead. In that life and death moment, at the time when all gunners are ready to pull the trigger, a ghost dot like magnetic male voice appears in everybody's ears. Hey brothers, it's fine that you all were disturbing me watch the moon, but you can't possibly be intending to have more than ten men shoot at a girl right? When it comes to men shooting women, other than the gun below, you're not supposed to casually use any other, everybody look. She's so beautiful, within the words, is a voice full of regret. Who are you? Black Bear vigilantly looked all around, yet he couldn't even find a shadow. The woman who originally awaited her death suddenly widened her eyes, watching at the space above in disbelief. 
A figure falls from the sky like a ghost in front of the dozens of gunmen, just like a vampire in European myths, in the enchanting moonlight, quietly opening their huge black bat wings, and extending their sharp claws. This is a young man with a face that seems a little lazy, a little jocular, a little curious, but most of all, is disdain. Black Bear doesn't like this type of gaze, but his bones produce a trace of fear, what are you? The young man does not reply, and instead turns his head to ask the woman, if I help you take care of them, can you promise me one thing? I can, no matter what it is, the woman's pale face from blood loss turns a little red at this moment, she could imagine what a man would want after saving a woman, including sacrificing her own body, but right now she doesn't have any other choice. Even she does not understand why she believes this strange unarmed man can save her feeble life from the dozens of gunmen. It doesn't matter who you are, you must die. Black Bear was angry, he hates being ignored, and was the first to point his gun at that man. Bam! At the same time the gunfire appears in the muzzle, the man disappears. When he reappears, one of the man's hand is already gripping onto Black Bear's head, and he lightly twists it. Ka, ka. Black Bear feebly falls to the ground, with both eyes angrily open, full of disbelief and dissatisfaction. He did not even have the time to react, and his neck was already broken. All the other black dot clothed gun wielding men were frightened, the society has numerous skilled people, Black Bear, who emerged from the underground boxing world, was mysteriously killed while pulling the trigger. How did this stupid bear say it earlier, that's right. I'll give you people one sentence, something like bullets, is only effective against weaklings, the moment the man finished speaking, his body once again turns into a blur, charging into the dozens of men in the dark. Every time he nears one, he hits one. His hand might be smacking the head, or pinching the neck, or even punching the chest, as long as a man is hit, that man instantly falls to the ground. The woman watching this scene close by struggles to understand what was happening, only by looking at the wounds of these thugs, they unexpectedly all died instantly by inhuman deaths, either by crushed heads, broken necks, or shattered chests. If at the point of this man's arrival the woman imagined this man in front of her as a hero saving a beauty, then at this moment, this man in front of her is simply the god of death. That's right, she has been saved by a death god dot like man, and even agreed to whatever he requests. In fact, at that moment this woman was thinking, even if she did not agree in the beginning, she still felt that she couldn't resist against him, a human may say, no, to other humans, but can't say anything close to, no, to a, god. After ending this battle without any suspense in breath, the young man claps his hands and slowly walks towards the woman, under the moonlight, he grins, as if he does not feel anything he should from the slaughter he just did, my name is Yang Chen, what's your name beautiful? Rose. Rose said absent-mindedly. Rose. Good name, Yang Chen laughs, scratching his head with an embarrassed expression, air, Miss Rose, I'm going to state my request. Please. Please speak. Rose lowered her head, preparing herself for getting slaughtered, with her heart involuntarily beating faster. Yang Chen seriously said. Miss Rose, I hope. You don't speak to anyone about what happened today, I don't want to get into trouble with a gang, I beg you. Beg. He is begging me. Rose raises her head in shock, in this moment, as if the world froze over, only the man in front with the awkward smile is left, with a trace of honesty, and a trace of warmth. Chapter 20 Monkey King and his mate you are listening at NovelFull.audio Warning NSFW for fiery entanglement. Memories are like wine, no matter how much time passes, they both remain fragrant. Rose and Yang Chen's first meeting was both bloody and dramatic. When Rose's feminine voice finished narrating those memories, Yang Chen was a little speechless, half a year ago, these two people, through that coincidence became acquaintances. From that point on, the occasional casual exchange, developed into a delicate relationship, a little distant, a little ambiguous, a little exciting. Playing with her long black hair, Rose hugged her knees, smiled intoxicatingly and said, Yang Chen, before you appeared, 
do you know what I was thinking of? What? I recall the fairy tales my mother used to tell me when I was a child. In those stories, whenever a weak princess was in danger from a fiendish villain, a knight in shining armor would always appear and rescue her from the depths of misery. In the end, the prince and princess lived happily ever after. I always thought that that line was senseless, but you made it all come true. Rose said, with her happy eyes, tenderly looking at Yang Chen Yang Chen touches his nose, I did not expect you to have such a sensitive and childish side. He he. Note. In Chinese, can also be sarcastic as in a cold laugh, Rose lightly laughs, how do I put it? I know that I'm no princess, and you are no knight in shining armor. Yep, not even a knight in shitty armor, there isn't even a horse or armor. You just fell from the skies like a ghost. However, at that time I felt that, all these weren't important. I just thought, if only there's someone like that beside me in the future. He doesn't need to protect me all day, or always make me happy. As long as, at the time when I can't walk anymore, support me a little, when I'm hurt, provide me a chest to snuggle to, allowing me to not be so helpless, not be so lonely, that is all I want, Rose. Yang Chen extends out his hand, stroking her moist and delicate cheek, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a good person, in the past, the number of women who I had relations with reached 800 if not 1000. As I have said before, you don't need a strong helper, with your circumstances, perhaps finding an honest, reliable man who wholeheartedly loves you will be for the best. That's no longer possible. Rose's eyes turned a little mischievous, Yang Chen, do you know the relationship between the monkeys and their king? Group of monkeys. Their king. Yang Chen was puzzled, and asked. What are you trying to say? In a group of monkeys, the king is the strongest male. All the female monkeys in the group become that monkey's mating partner as the instinct of the female is to choose the strongest mate, this way, their offspring will have better genes. Like monkeys, throughout history, people in human society have also behaved this way. Why do you think men with power have had numerous wives and concubines? Even those forced to become his mate, do you think they're actually unwilling? Since they can have the best, why should they settle for the mediocre? Yang Chen not knowing whether to laugh or cry responded, from this, have we become monkeys. I was just using an analogy. I want you to know, from the moment we met, in this life there will never be another man in my eyes. Perhaps you aren't the world's strongest, but, you are the strongest in my heart. Rose's gaze gradually became resolute, staring straight at Yang Chen, I love you, Yang Chen. Staying silent for over a minute, the smile on Yang Chen's face gradually turned stronger, somewhat relieved, and somewhat playfully he said, you are really a stupid woman. Rose's incomparably perturbed look, now showed the color of happiness, she shook her head and said. So what if I'm a stupid woman, I don't regret anything. Do you know what my original purpose for coming was? Yang Chen's gaze moved up and down, as if trying to pry into the scene underneath Rose's nightgown with his eyes. Although Rose was mentally prepared, it all flew out the window with Yang Chen's undisguised lascivious gaze, as she still blushed and her heart pounded hard, revealing a rare shy appearance, you. What do you want to do, Yang Chen slowly closed in on Rose's beautiful little earlobe, and gently bit on that tender piece of flesh. Yi yi, as if electricity passed through her body, Rose leaned onto Yang Chen's chest like she was melting, and starts to pant. Today I, came here to eat you up, you pink and tender female monkey. Not waiting for Rose to react, Yang Chen gave out a pent-up groan, fiercely hugged Rose's small waist, and tossed this soft to the bone figure into the middle of the bed. Rose, stunned by this sudden blessing, shut her eyes, allowing Yang Chen to stroke and knead her body, kissing it, while her two little hands tightly gripped the bed sheets. The smooth silk nightgown was torn away from the body by two rough hands, the snow-white skin was exposed to the air, diffusing a scorching charm. As if he couldn't let go of a single inch of skin, Ang Chen's fiery kissing started from the little navel, and glided upwards along the smooth belly, 
then he unhesitantly unclasped the black chiffon bra, placing the 2D dot cup or above tender flesh into his mouth, continuously nibbling and sucking it. Perhaps it has been too long since he clear dot headedly enjoyed such a ripe woman's body, Yang Chen felt his boiling blood was difficult to suppress. Really fragrant. Rose, who usually took the initiative is now like a shy teenager. Upon hearing such blatant praise, her blush only got deeper, and she was completely unable to retort. Finally, when Yang Chen's lips kisses Rose's cherry lips, like lightning and fire, two wet tongues intertwine around each other nonstop. Rose's sweet juices led Yang Chen to search for it endlessly, to the point Rose had difficult breathing and only then does Yang Chen unwillingly kiss other places. Rose was completely lost within her first fiery entanglement, her body soft like it's made of water, with every part of it turning into a sensitive nerve ending, a mere touch, allowed the flooded wet marshes to flow even more. Once Yang Chen released the two's bodies from all constraints, one of his hands dug for Rose's secret garden, the wet to flooding nectar once again caused Yang Chen's hormones to accelerate. Oh! Rose my darling, so you are this sensitive, the amount of water below could be used to shower. Woo! Unable to curb with the shame Rose turned away, she has never experienced such a situation and was totally unable to speak, so she could only vaguely protest. Yang Chen who was unable to endure any longer no longer spoke, he drew out his long fierce dot looking erected dragon head, and fiercely barged into Rose's tender flower bud. Rose felt as if her low half was being torn off, that moment of pain accompanied by long dot awaited happiness, made her release two streams of tears, and what followed was instead wave after wave of innumerable impacts. For a time, the room's temperature sharply rises, the man's deep breathing and the lady's staggered wails reverberate through the room.